Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Makina Riders. It's been a while, it's been a while and uh, eto na, we're gonna be doing it again. Of course, it's brought to us by Gulf Oils. Our next guest, nakilala ko po siya noong 2011 or I think maybe 2012. This was around the time na I started slowly getting back into motorcycles. Nakilala ko yung guest natin sa Wheeltech. I knew he was part of the company but I did not know kung anong capacity niya doon. But he came across as very, very friendly. Magyaya siya mag-ride, you know, organizing Suzuki, big by club um, he, you know he, he's out there he's in your face and he's you know engaging with the riders so nalaman ko lang later on na he is of the Odulio family I'm talking about Roscoe Odulio and of course the Odulio family sila po may-ari ng wheel tech and it, for me that is amazing because a lot of owners of companies when they become so big they kind of get detached already with the customer minsan sobrang dami na iniintindi sobrang busy sobrang laki na ng kumpanya hindi mo na makakausap yung mga customer mo mismo diba? but here he is Roscoe has been consistent through the years adyan pa rin siya makikipag-usap sa'yo may tanong ka tukol sa big bike kung nadatnan mo siya sa shop he will take time and he will talk to you. He is now behind the big campaigns for big bikes under Wheeltech. In, in fact, if not for him, I don't think makikita natin na ganito kakalat ang big bike sa Pilipinas. Kasi you've got so many big bike dealerships all over the country because of Wheeltech. It's because siya, siya nagtulak nun. Alam nyo, ang motorcycle dealership kasi, more often than not, ang big bike parang ano lang sa kanila yan, eh, parang extra. Okay. The main business, the driver of the economy of the motorcycle industry are really the small commuter bikes. But no, sabi ni Roscoe, siguro pinag- I am trying to imagine yung no, pinaglaban niya to sa pamilya niya. Sabi niya, Dad! Tulak natin big bike! Sabi niya, Daddy niya, eh, ikaw lang naman may trip niya ni. Eh. <laughs> well, look at how it has grown right now, right? So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Makina Riders. Welcome po sa inyo lahat. Enjoy the show. This is Roscoe Odulio. Hello, Roscoe. At uh, maraming salamat. Nagkatagpo din tayo kasi syempre medyo busy ka din. Thank you for guesting in Makina Riders. Welcome. Okay, so the first question ko sa yo, kasi alam mo naman sa media when we talk about your dad and we hear about yung success story niya, yung humble beginnings niya. Tama ba tatlong motor ang pinagsimulan mo na? And then a kid started to come. How was it like? Nakita mo yung growth eh. Nakita mo yung love ng dad mo for motorcycles, yung business niyo nag grow. How was it like? Actually, my dad, I'm proud of to tell it to everyone na mas love ni family kasi what happened to us was, meron time siya na they can expand. My parents can expand already, but branch out na. Pero sabi nung tatay ko, nanay ko, let's prioritize the kids first. <clears throat> Kasi I think kung branch out agad, or the store out agad kami, eh mapapabayaan yung kami, mga bata. You talk about quality time, father-son yes. relationship. Yes, and ah. education and everything. So that's why we started 1974, but we started branching out 90s ni. Yung 90s is a time na medyo matanda na kami, nasa college siya kami, so I think the foundation was already established. So I think yun yung talaga ang parang naging priority nila kami. Ang galing ha! Para. I mean, 74, inantay muna kayong mag, that you can stand on your own two feet, magandang pundasyon ninyo, mm. and then doon na nag-grow talaga ng Toto Tonohan. Yes, doon siya nag-branch out talaga. Doon na siya, for example, acquiring other brands. Kasi the history was 1974, Suzuki lang talaga yung the one that we're selling. It mm -hmm. was really during the 90s that we started acquiring the other brands. We were very thankful doon ng aking siblings na kami yung priority na magulang namin. I mean, look at how you guys all turned out, di ba? Yes, I agree. Galeng, galeng. Wow, what a story. So there's a lot of integrity in dito. Pera, pera lang. Uh -huh. We're talking about a uh, family-oriented approach. Paano nyo grinaw yung business. It, for you, did you know that you were gonna end up as a true brew rider and a mover and shaker in the industry? And this is what you wanted talaga, bata pa lang? It was during high school. Off-road yung sinasakya ko. Uh -huh. I was riding a Yamaha DT125. Yun yung simula, riding in the race truck. Parang ko na feel, uy! Masarap pala magmotor. Actually, that was around 1997 or 1998. And I think malaki yung factor yung, yung magulang ko. Pinayagan kami magmotor. <clears throat> Kasi I think during that time, talagang risky yung motor. Uh, the safety wasn't that established yet sa mukha ngayon. Oh, parang dati kasi naalala ko, 90s, 80s, walang pake. So high school pa lang, alam mo na. And I think that's a person that I fell in love with the motorcycle. So, paano kayo nagkapwestupestuhan in terms of roles in the company? Kasi magkakapatid, was that something natural na ikaw yung mas out there riding and meeting people? Yun yung galing ng parents ko. They know that si Kuya kasi medyo magaling sa pera, mag matipid. That's why he was put into finance. Uh, yung kapatid ko naman was an economic, so kaya siya pa sa operations. 
Ako naman, my course was marketing. Yung magastos. <laughs> Actually, I'm... <laughs> ang aming biruan is I'm the Vice President for Expense. <laughs> Hindi po Vice President for Sales and Marketing. <laughs> Kasi nga po, pag marketing, gastos po ng gastos. Oh, Kaliwat kanan, bibili po dito, mag event po dito. So, yun correct. po yung actually lokohan po namin. I'm the Vice President for Expense. Of course, we all know your love for big bikes. And I know your father, as a businessman, was focusing on the backbone of the industry naman talaga sa Pilipinas si small bikes eh. Yeah. Pinaglaban mo ba yung kaso sa daddy mo na dad kailangan natin mag ganun big bike mag, mag showroom tayo dito. How was that like between you and your dad? Actually, that's really true. Because the issue before was wala pang data regarding the big bike industry. Merong big made data but the volume of sales was really low. How will you defend? Kailangan ka mag uh, invest in the big bike. But I think one na nakita ng parents it's also my passion. Mahilig talaga kami din before mag big bike. So I think that's one na parang it really mattered. Kaya kami nakapag-expand sa big bike. And I think also, naging profitable na din because of the passion. Siyempre pag may passion, may extra effort palagi. And you proved yourself from your track day you supported California Superbike at maraming parang salamat, marami ako natutunan na at nayaya mo rin ako doon. Alala ko yun eh, pauwi. Pagkatapos ng CSS, parang tampagan nyo lahat. Di ba? Same experience! Let's talk about your collection now. Behind you, easily, ayoko na isipin yung presyo nilang lahat kasi parang sumasakit ulo ko eh. But ang nasakyan ko sa kanilang lahat would be the Honda. And that was in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Nakwento ko before, na-stress kami dyan kasi walang gusto sumemplang na journalist kasi ang mahal-mahal. Kasi all of these are all company-owned by Wiltek. Mm -hmm. So, medyo kailangan i-protect. Siyempre, yes, dito lang sa SSI kasi yun lang ang pinakamagaling sa lahat. Wala na pong iba. <laughs> talaga na mag -rap. I think with, with this prices of the bikes, talagang kailangan po ma-protect. Medyo hindi po nagagabit yung motor, naka-display lang po talaga siya eh. Mm -hmm. Pinapandar lang po once in a while. So even when you're not using it, you have to protect it pa rin and yeah. take care of it. Kasi yung paints, the fade and everything, when you put the film, medyo tumatagal na yung paint. Kasi I think lalo na itong H2R, Kakaiba yung finish. Yung color niya, parang may finish siya na different. Mm -hmm. Kaya kailangan talaga siyang i-film. I think in Southeast Asia, you have a very unique collection na ito yung... Kasi iba, minsan halo-halo. Iba, puro classics na vintage. Ikaw, super, 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 super bikes. Anong favorite mo sa kanila? Actually, favorite ko siyempre ito. <laughs> Marquez. I'm also a fan of Marquez ever since. Okay, so... Eh, sumem lang po. Daka po, sana makabalik naman. <laughs> Manalo ulit. <laughs> Meron ka bang major... Sem plang na nangyari. Or... Of course. Ah, meron. Okay, okay. Hindi naman major, but God is good. Wala naman pong nabalian. Or okay. What. Pero medyo... Medyo Saan po. to? Public roads or was it in it the... It was during off-road. 2001, 2002. Ang pagal na pala. Nung pagwan pa lang po ako nag-ride. Accidents kasi can be used to learn of from, course. diba? Advice, Roscoe. You know, a lot of riders look up to you with big bikes. Anong advice mo bibigyan mo sa mga kakapuan natin riders? I think one is really safety. Yun ang ating priority number one. The second one will be really yung matutunan proper riding education. Kasi you will enjoy more pag natutunan mo yung science nga, yung paano ba magmoto, or you can roll in in some of the schools, like yung sa Honda, sa Paranya, sa HSDC. Yun, malaki pong bagay yun na if we can enroll and learn the science and the art of riding, talaga pong kakaiba. But if you can go to the CSS, ah, sinasabi ko po, <laughs> California Superbike is the best school. So I think yun dalawa na ito, safety and riding education. Okay, I, I, that's a common ground for everybody who's been guesting Makira. Safety talaga, be mindful of that kasi iba talagang meron tayong knowledge. Again, Roscoe, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank uh, very you. inspiring story. And thank you so much for your time. Let's ride na! Let's ride na! <laughs>